So this is a diving suit here at the museum. Uh, we have it on display in our tide zone at the very bottom of the museum. The suit itself is about 80 years old, though some of the designs for this type of diving suit go back uh, to the 17 and 1800s. So on his head, you can see that there's a helmet, a hard shell. It's made of copper um, and it's designed to protect the diver's head. It houses some glass portholes so that the diver can see the main body of the, of the suit is actually quite soft. It's not a hard shell, it's actually a soft covering made of waterproof canvas and that would help keep the diver warm. But it wouldn't protect the diver from the enormous pressure of the water pushing on the body, squeezing the air out of, out of the lungs. So around his chest, pressing down on the chest, is a massive heavy lead weight. You can see it's chained to the front of the helmet, resting on his chest, and it would pull the, the diver down and it would stop the diver uh, ballooning up and floating away. Well, behind uh, the suit itself, you can see uh, some ropes going up. That would help tether uh, the diver uh, to stop uh, the diver being swept away to sea. You couldn't go very deep, uh, but you could go quite deep underneath a ship or down to a, a shipwreck. Um, the other pipes you can see um, are air pipes, and they supply air to the diver.